Well, hello, hello, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do an August budget. As always, let's take a look back at last month. I keep track of my monthly expenses on my month view. This is my Erin Condren monthly deluxe planner. These actually just came out again. This has all of 2017 in there. I did order my 2018 planner already. It has not arrived yet, but it will be coming shortly. And um, these are available. So what I love about the monthly planners is that they have just a month view, and then there is notes pages in between another notes page, and then you have another month. So it's very simplified and I really, really love that. So if you guys are interested in purchasing this planner, it's actually quite cheap considering it's an Erin Condren product, but it's not like the life planners where those can get upwards of like 70, $80, depending on the options. But I believe these start, I wanna say at 35, I wanna say. There is gonna be a link below for you guys. It is an affiliate link, so if you have never purchased anything through Erin Condren, you can sign up and then you can get a $10 off unique coupon code, it'll actually get emailed to you. And then once you receive the email, then you can check out with that $10 off too. So anyways, so I obviously, August hasn't happened yet. And let me show you July again. Um, today is actually the 27th and this video is going up on the 28th. I ran out of my no spend stickers, sadly, from Coffee Break Planner. This is called the Emily's Budget Bundle and um, I will link Coffee Break Planner below as well as a sneaky little coupon code if you guys are interested for 20% off. There is a whole variety of things that come in the budget bundle of you know things that I use and all of that stuff, um, but I am out of my no spend stickers. Oh, sorry about that, my little thing fell down here, there we go. Um, so I actually already placed an order with Catherine um, from Coffee Break Planner, and those are probably gonna arrive tomorrow, to be completely honest. And anyways, so why don't we get into August and I will start my budget. I've got a lot of home stuff happening this month. I've already paid my mortgage for the month of August, but because it's due on the first, like there's a lot of stuff that's due for me on the first. So I figured, you know, you obviously like want that money in your account and stuff, so then you end up paying it like for the next month at the end of the month. Does that make sense to you guys? I hope it does. I hope that's not confusing. All right, so I think I'm gonna use this butterfly one this month because it's this, not spring, it's summertime. And I like the look of it and I have this little, smaller washi too, which is freaking adorable. People always ask me what I do with this page. You know what I do with it? I go like that and I don't actually do anything with it. <laughs> um, I wish I did something with it to be honest you guys, but I just don't. Um, I don't know. I've seen other people do some really cool things, but I don't know. I feel like I track everything I want to track on my main page, like not my main page, but like you know, this page that I just, I don't know. I just don't need it. You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna put my little like August foil right in the middle. Um, you can get this and this at erincounter.com as well if you are interested. All right, so what I like to do is, um, now that I have a lot more expenses, I like to write out my expenses on this column and then on this column, write out all of my incoming. So yeah. Oh, actually, let me check. Let me check the month of August, you guys. How many Fridays are there? There's four Fridays. So let's put that in the calculator. Also, I'm gonna use these, which are super, super cute. All right, so on average, if I work 40 hours and I don't take any time off and don't work any overtime or anything like that, um, this is what I get paid every week. Obviously it's minus like taxes and insurance and whatnot, so. But there are four pay periods, so we'll just write this four times. And then we'll calculate it out. So my total expectation is going to be $2,630.16. So that is what I'm gonna go off of for this month. All right, so let's do all of my regular household bills, which will go over here. And I think I'm going to use um, one of these little like, house icons because they're really cute. Because honestly, this is all house stuff. <laughs> we'll just write outgoing. 
And I'm a decorative planner person. I probably should have said this at the beginning. I'm a decorative planner person, so I like my budgets to look cute because then I will stick to it. And I look at this thing um, at least on a weekly basis, uh, not every single day, but I do have it like out most of the time. And I just kind of flip to it and then I'll write down, you know, what I spent that day or look back and see what's in the budget and all that kind of stuff too. So yeah. So my mortgage is four fifty one thirty eight. My HOA fee is one fifty eight. I hear that that's going up, but I haven't received any notices about it yet. So I don't know. My electric is an estimate that does vary every month. So I'm just gonna estimate a hundred dollars. It was like a little bit over a hundred last month, but there was a lot of like in and out and lots of workers here and stuff too. So it was quite cold in here with like the air conditioning and whatnot. Um, my gas is a fixed expense. So I pay $44 a month, and then it actually readjusts after a year. My trash is the same every month, and that's $29.75. Um, the water, I don't know if that is adjustable or not. Um, I think it's an estimation, so I'm gonna put it at $45 as an estimate. Really close to what I spent last month. My auto insurance is $85.42. That doesn't change. My internet is the same at $45.29. I also am a Netflix person since I don't have cable, and that's $10.68. And that's all I have for like fixed expenses. I would normally have a cell phone in here, but I've already paid my mom up through August. So I will owe her um, in September. So that is the outgoing for now. So let's talk about cash. I am going to write in, actually I'm gonna use this thing real quick cause I think it's cute. I'm just gonna separate them a little bit. These are little washi samples. I get a lot of these from um, actually like planner meetups and stuff. And it's a great, great place to find washi samples if you're looking for some washi samples in your life. You can also buy them off of like Etsy and stuff too. If, especially if you don't want like a full roll of washi, like I wouldn't necessarily use a full roll of the one I'm using right now, but it's just kind of like fun to have, you know? All right, so I'll make a little separator here. And then as for my cash, um, I'm gonna put in, so my gas, I usually estimate, oh, I've been doing a lot more driving at work though, so let me think here. So let's go like, I don't know, but it always seems to like work out. So let's just keep it with like the $200 mark for the gas. And then for groceries, I feel like I've been spending more lately, so let's do like 240 for groceries. And then my dining, I usually keep that around like 60 bucks or so. So I think that's good for the cash. Again, we'll do this little guy right here. Again, I like decorative stuff, so sorry if this is weird and you're watching this going, why does this person put tape on their budget? <laughs> I'm a decorative planning person anyways, so sorry if this video was suggested to you. And then this is my cash i'll put that right there and then i've got some fun extras and i've also got some like not so fun extras i <laughs> had all the intentions to go get new car tabs last month but they expire at the end of august so i just need to take care of them in the month of august i was gonna do it this month and it just hasn't happened so i still need to go do that so i've got my car tabs um i think they're gonna be around 200 dollars. i think i'd estimated like 300 before but i think that's like way wrong um, I also have to do some stuff with local records. I have to send in some sort of payment for my house of $89, which is due by the end of the month, so I just need to send that in. I also need to get a new driver's license because it has my parents' address on there right now. I'm assuming that that is probably gonna be about 40 bucks maybe, I don't know. It's just, all I have to do is change the address. I don't have to change like the photo or anything like that. Also, I need to homestead. I don't think that there is a fee for that. I just need to go to like, I think it's just like the city's, the city clerk's office or something. So I don't know how much that's gonna be. I don't think 
it's anything to be completely honest, but I don't know. Also something fun that's happening in August, it's the state fair. So um, that is definitely something that I am excited about. It's at the very end of the month. And I am estimating like for my ticket and food for the day is gonna be around $100. So let's get all of these things totaled up and then we'll see where we come out at the end of this budget. So I just use this little sticker here to kind of show where I'm at. So let's put this down here. All right, so the first category is on the top line. So this outgoing is $969.52. My total cash outgoing is $500. And then kind of this miscellaneous stuff down here that isn't normally here is $429. So this is kind of like a hefty situation down here for the month of August. Um, I know a lot of you have been asking if I have a sinking fund. Unfortunately, I don't have sinking funds right now. I will be doing that in the year 2018 once that starts. Um, but yeah, so then my total is $1,898.52. And then if I subtract out my total incoming here, I will get whatever surplus I have. So right now that leaves me, okay, hold on, let's see. Let me grab a little, a little piggy guy. So right now with all those calculations, that leaves me with a surplus of $731.00 and 64 cents. So if something's a little bit higher or a little bit lower, I still have some wiggle room. Part of that money is gonna be going into a like house savings fund for myself. So sorry about the lighting tonight, you guys. I apologize. I got home from work and it's like the sun is kind of setting, so it's like kind of freaking out. But that is what I'm left with at the end of the month. And that's like I say, if I only work my normal allotted time, don't take any time off, and don't work any overtime. So I usually work at least an hour of overtime, if not more, every single pay period anyway. So it usually ends up being just a little bit more than that. Um, but you know, you gotta roll with the punches. And if I'm sick, I'm sick. If something happens, and I have to leave early or come in late. You know, that's okay too. So, but that is my budget for the month of August, 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll answer as many of you as I possibly can. If you like these type of videos and like my financial Friday budgeting videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday with new content for you guys at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time and every Friday, I try to do something budget related. It's not always budget related, but I try to do something budget related. And if you guys have any budget related video topic ideas, make sure to put them in the comments below. I love seeing what you guys want to see from me. And obviously if I'm not comfortable doing it, I'm not going to do it, but I love your suggestions. And I have done several of your suggestions for financial Friday videos, as well as other video content too. So keep the suggestions coming. I really appreciate it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I enjoy interacting with all of you guys. So thanks so much for sticking around and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.